don't see here. It says it's in textures, rape, and clothes, county, pen 2dds So I need to go check that out. Where are you at? All right. So what we want to do is we want to open this up, look for our textures, and then follow the passes, right, the clothes, and then we go to Kiami. And you'll see that here's all our textures. Now luckily, Oblivion textures are the uh, same as Skyrim. They're DDS files, so you can actually use them in their original form. You just need to kind of open it up and look at uh, what properties. Now you guys can open it up in GIMP. Uh, I'm going to open it up in Photoshop. Once you get Photoshop open or GIMP, whichever you're using, you're going to want to drag and drop the, uh, according to this, it's actually P-A-N-T-U is the one that we want to look at because that's what it used. So I'm going to drag P-A-N-T-U in here and just take a look at it. So that's the texture that it used. And uh, they got two and three. So probably all three of these. I can take a look and see which one I want to use. So that was a different color. So he's got different colors in here. I like this one. I think I'm going to use this one. So I'll knock them out, and then I'm going to take a look at his end file as well. You want to open them both up because you want to see what he did. All right, what the uh, Oblivion guy, whoever you're converting, what they did with the texture files. Because if there's alpha properties, you might need an NI material alpha or alpha material property. You know the basic stuff. You're gonna, you might need it. Uh, this one here, okay. There's uh, no alpha property here, so he doesn't have a specular on this. And if I look here in this one, there's no alpha property here, so it's not transparent in any form. So this one's not going to need anything special uh, to make it work. But because it does not have a specular map, I want to look in my BS Lighting Shader properties, scroll down, and make sure I have specular turned off, which I do, because this does not come with a specular map. So then I go to the BS Texture Shaders, and again, I decided I was going to take 3 and N, and I'm just going to drag these over to my disassembled texture file, which is in my Skyrim directory, which you'll want to do too. Uh, what did I do here? Where's... All right, so there it is. And I'm going to go ahead and assign these uh, to this folder here. So I'll want to go ahead and open this up. Uh, oh, i got to go to my desktop. Go to C Textures. And you'll want to assign your textures. So I just go here, and it was P-A-N-T-U three open it up and there's my texture on it that's pretty nice texture and I'll uh, go ahead and assign the normal map so I want to go to uh, you know what this is a lot faster to just do this control C it control V it and then when I open up this cog wheel it'll go right to the right folder underscore N there you go and now it's all set up. I got the textures on there. So this is actually ready to test in game after I set it up in my ESP folder, uh, which you should already know how to do. So you can actually test your armor out in game. I'll go ahead and set mine up and we'll see what it looks like in game. But don't forget uh, to turn your UV map back on. So go up to NI Tri Shape Data, go to BS Num UV Sets, double click it and hit 4097. Then right click on NI Tri Shape Mesh update tangent space and then go ahead and file save as panties v2 alright this is ready to check out in game alright so uh, let's see what this looks like alright now as you can see here I am in game and if you take a look there they are converted from oblivion over to Skyrim um, didn't really take me much time to do again I could have uh, you know if I wasn't explaining how to do it through the video I could have done this conversion for this undergarment in probably under 30 minutes um, heck I could probably do it in 10 minutes it doesn't take that long to convert anything from oblivion to Skyrim unless you're doing something complex now I will warn you some of the oblivion meshes have very high poly counts uh, and they're also separated. So if they're separated and you don't feel like having to retexture them, don't attach them. Uh, you know, export them. Uh, you know, just as separate pieces and just deal with it. Uh, you know, in, in uh, NIF scope. But again, in the next video, let's just zoom up with that. Looks really good. You know, it came out really nice. And so uh, this was again from one of the most endorsed uh, uh, HGEC files uh, from Oblivion. And uh, again, it didn't take me that long to convert it over. Now, it'd be nice if somebody converted the entire mod over. I don't really have the time to do that, but uh, you know, now you guys know how, so maybe somebody might find uh, 
find the time or the interest to do so and convert all the pieces over which would be kind of cool but you can convert all kinds of stuff from oblivion or oh, Skyrim doesn't take that much time at all again I'm not really going to bother doing uh, in the next video I'm not going to bother doing the uh, fallout because it's the same if you know how to convert Daz, you know how to convert Oblivion over to Skyrim, then you know how to convert everything, because it's always the same process, pretty much. Get it fit, or, fit it over the body, make sure it's an editable mesh, so you know you reconvert it to an editable mesh after you have done uh, and then export. Sometimes you might want to hit M on your keyboard, and uh, in fact, I'll show you that. Sometimes you might need to do this. You might have to come over here. If you're crashing when you export, uh, sometimes uh, you might want to hit M on your keyboard. Yours will look like, uh, if you've never done it, it'll probably look like this. And if it does, go up to Modes, hit Compact Material Editor. So I hit M, went to Modes, Compact Material Editor, drag and drop one of these circles over into your mesh, and then you can close this out, export it. It'll export as an NI Material property, and then you just delete the mat NI Material property and put a BS dismember on its pl uh, or a BS lighting shader in its place. Uh, but that's how you do that. If it's crashing when you export, it might have something to do with the texture. Uh, so you might have to wipe out the texture by doing that. Again, you'd hit M, go to Modes, Compact, which is this version, then you just drag it and drop it, and then you're good to export. All right, so just uh, throwing that out there. But again, you'll want to test it, run around a little bit. This looks really good. This didn't take me that much time to do it all. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. In the next video, I was thinking that I was going to go ahead and show you guys how to do these multiple piece armors. As you can see, this character is actually wearing uh, three pieces of armor here over the main body. That's three separate pieces. That's the Ella top that I converted from Daz. It's a spike choker that I converted from Daz, and that's an undergarment that's converted from Oblivion. It's three different pieces on the main torso. I'm going to show you guys how to do that in the next video. Uh, I'm going to show you, I think, up to ten slots. I'm not going to worry about the other five. I really don't ever use the other five, so I'd have to hunt for the BS dismembers for I don't really feel like doing that. So I'll show you how to, I'll provide you with a resource file that will contain the the 10 BS dismembers that I use um, and it'll also have an ESP file so it'll all be set up really easy to do so uh, look forward to the next video when I show you how to do multiple slot armors uh, and I'll show you up to 10 if you want to use the extra five you'll probably have to hunt them down yourself because like I said I don't use them so I don't even know what's entailed with them I'd have to look into it but I'm gonna show you up to 10 which should be more than enough uh, for anybody. I mean, I don't see why you'd need any more than 10. Um, of course you could, but uh, again, if you can figure it out how to use 10, then you'll be able to figure out how to find and use the other five, I'm sure. So I'll show you how to do that. And then after that, I want to show you guys how to do this. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of game real quick so I can just open this up in Photoshop. I want to show you something that I picked up, a new trick. Uh, now I know some people like to use X normal, but XNormal is inferior to 3DS Max's capabilities on making normal maps. And I'm going to show you how to make a real normal map. Uh, I mean, we're talking real as in like Bethesda quality normal map, an actual normal map. Let me show you an example of what one looks like. If I go to armor and I go to, now to see what to wear. Um, I mean, I just really looked into this and did a lot of research and found out how to do it myself. Uh, so, I mean, I don't have a lot of uh, textures that actually show it. A real normal map, which would be this one right here. This is a... That's a real normal map. I'm talking that's... That's high quality. All right, this is the kind of... Stuff. Now, they use a blue background, which you don't really have to do. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's not really a blue. It's like a light purple. But if you'll notice, this is very detailed. I mean, this is like what you see... Uh, from professional gaming studios release. I'm going to show you how to do this in the video after next. So look forward to this one here where I'll show you how to make some actual real normal maps instead of these uh, fake ones that we just base off the texture. All right, for that tutorial, I will warn you though for the real normal maps, if you can't get your hands on Mudbox or ZBrush, then just keep using X normal or maybe I'll even show you how to use X normal because uh, making a real normal map requires creating a high polygon mesh uh, which even with X normal you have to have a high poly mesh but uh, in 3ds max you'll have to have a program that can handle 
uh, high polygon meshes. I'll be showing you with ZBrush. Uh, another program that will work with it uh, is Mudbox, which I'm not really familiar with Mudbox, but it's pretty much the same as ZBrush. ZBrush is better. You can get a 30-day trial uh, of ZBrush, but don't get that trial. Don't use up your chance if you've never uh, use the chance for it. Wait till I release the video before you get the trial of ZBrush. That way, you, you know, because I don't know when I'm going to actually release that video, so I don't want you to waste your uh, tutorial. I'm just saying, you're going to need this. You're going to need ZBrush, um, which does have quite a bit of a learning curve. Uh, but if you want to make a real normal map, like an actual real one, uh, I'm going to show you how to go about doing that using 3ds Max uh, in conjunction with ZBrush. But again, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, conversion tutorials, and I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you for the next video.